Countless times you'll hear your first warm weather team say that there's a chance for isolated or scattered thunderstorms. But what does that really mean? Let's break it down. Terms like isolated, scattered, and widespread do not determine the intensity or duration of a particular rain shower or thunderstorm event, but refers to the coverage of that precipitation. When rain or storms are isolated, it'll look like this. 20% or less of the WCNC viewing area will have these smaller thunderstorms or rain showers. During this scenario, most of us will stay dry, but some of these isolated or pop-up storms, depending on the ingredients in place, could dump some quick heavy rain and even produce damaging winds and hail. When there's a 30 to 50% chance for rain, this range would be deemed scattered. For the lower end around 30%, a term widely scattered can be used, meaning that most likely you'll avoid the storms, but the radar is not clear. Once there's a 40 to 50% chance for rain, a portion of your day is in jeopardy of getting wet. It's at this point I would suggest bringing an umbrella if you're gonna be outside. Here's an example of what scattered storms can look like. Let's go one step further. A chance at 60% or above means that rain is likely. When any day in the seven day forecast is 60% or above for the day, that is your cue that any outdoor plans could be dampened. The radar can also look like this on a widespread scenario. Yeah, not betting my barbecue on that. The higher the percentages from here, the more widespread rain and storms will be for the day. One more note, percentages tell you nothing about the timing. 100% could mean a wet start to the day, but a dry finish or vice versa. So it's important to also know the rest of the story when making plans and not basing it just on the percent. So stay dry, everyone. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy.